Welcome to the Dream Arrow Bull Flight Simulator. My name is Michael. I'm a Boeing 737-800 flight instructor. Today I will explain the basic principles of how to fly the airplane. At the moment we are in the air at 7,000 feet and our current speed is 207 knots. The primary device used to control the airplane is the control wheel. Using the yoke you can control the airplane's altitude in both pitch and roll. For example, when you turn the yoke to the left, the airplane increases its bank angle. By turning the yoke to the right, you will decrease the bank angle until the moment its wings are level again. If you continue to turn the yoke to the right, you will begin to roll to the right. To get the wings level again, turn the yoke to the left until it reaches the desired attitude, then release the yoke in the neutral position. Pulling the yoke makes the airplane's nose pitch upward. while pushing the yoke makes the nose pitch downward. There are two main instruments that help fly the airplane. On the left, there is the primary flight display, the PFD. It is here where you will see any vital indicators. In the center of the PFD, you will see the attitude indicator. The sky is depicted in blue and the ground in brown. Additionally, the airplane is depicted in black, showing three symbols, both wings and the nose of the airplane. On the right side of the PFD, you will see the altitude tape. While the window in the center of the tape shows our current altitude, 7,300 feet, our selected altitude is the magenta color, 9,000 feet, located above. On the very right side of the PFD, you can see the vertical speed indicator, VSI. The VSI needle is deviated slightly downward, showing the airplane's rate of descent. If you put the airplane's nose down, the pitch angle will decrease, and the black point on the attitude indicator will move down to the horizontal line. The VSI needle will move downward along with the numeric symbol showing the rate of descent. Additionally, you will notice the altitude start to reduce faster. On the left side, you will see the speed tape. The white window in the center of the tape shows the current speed, 219 knots. Directly above, you will see the selected speed in magenta color. It is now aligned with the current speed. If you change the selected speed number to 230 knots, you will see the magenta marker placed on the speed tape, showing the selected speed of 230 knots. The display located to the right of the PFD is the navigation display, ND. It indicates the airplane position similar to the navigation system in your car. On the upper side, you can see our current heading of 293 degrees. This is our magnetic compass. Number 36 means 360 degrees, or the northern heading. Similarly, the number 3 means 30 degrees, 9 means 90 degrees, and so on. The number 18 is 180 degrees, or the southern heading, while the number 27 is 270 degrees or the western heading. You may see different reference points, also known as nav aids, for example, radio beacons or VORs. These are shown as blue triangles. At the moment, the airplane is on the radio beacon named Tango Alpha Zulu, or TAZ. In the upper left corner, you will see our ground speed, GS, or speed relative to the surface, which is 235 knots. You will also see the true airspeed, or TAS, also 235 knots. The magenta line shows the selected heading. If you change the heading on the mode control panel, you can see how the indicator changes on the compass. Third instrument display, located in the center, shows engine parameters, fuel quantity, and any malfunctions when they are present. Regarding thrust control levers, the left lever is used to control the left engine and the right lever is used to control the right engine. When you move the levers forward, engine thrust increases, resulting in acceleration and a higher speed. Alternatively, when you move the levers backward, the engine thrust decreases, resulting in deceleration and a lower speed. This is the mode control panel or MCP. It is here where you may select the desired flight parameters such as speed in knots, heading in degrees, and altitude in feet. 
Here you may be wondering how to fly the plane according to pre-selected parameters. It is the flight director's FD that will help us follow the correct path. You can turn them on using this switch. Two magenta colored flight director bars are displayed on the PFD. These help us follow selected flight parameters by showing when to pitch the airplane's nose as well as the necessary bank adjustments. For example, the new heading is set to 340 degrees. One is placed vertically and the other horizontally. The vertically placed FD needle moves to the right. Then, following this needle, we start to turn the airplane to the right, attempting to put it on the center of the PFD, aligning it with the black point, the airplane's nose. The horizontally placed needle helps you reach and maintain the selected altitude. For example, if you need to climb, select a new altitude on the MCP, for example, 11,000 feet, the FD needle will move up, upward, and by following it, you will gain and maintain the selected altitude. I hope today's lesson helped you better understand the basic principles of flying the airplane. Good luck!